So, right, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into that, right? But in order to do that, i got to get like an x by itself or a y by itself. So how would I get this x by itself? Edgar, how would I get this x by itself? You divide 2x. Or just 2, right? Yeah. Because yeah, you want to get rid of that, not that. You want to get rid of the 2, not the x. So yeah, if I do, so I'm multiplying by 2. I want, so I want to get x by itself. Edgar said divide by 2. And have x by itself. x equals 6. Okay. Now, with that, I take, here's, here's what I want to make sure you guys understand, because I think it's where you guys were confused, is since this is equal to 6, wherever there's an x, I can put in 6. Substitution, right? So x equals 6. There's an x right there, so let's rewrite this equation. And instead of x, what do I do, Olivia? I put 6, because that's what it tells me to do. And then, and then we just, so guess what we're going to solve for now? Now we solve for y. Okay? So, let me write it, I, with the parentheses, we don't need the parentheses here. 6 minus 5y equals negative 29. Okay, so remember when we solve an equation, Right, remember when we solve an equation, we just want to, if I want to get y by itself, just want to get y by itself, so you get rid of the numbers that are furthest away. Get rid of the 6 and then the negative 5. So, Olivia, how do I get rid of the 6? Well, I can't combine these because it's 5y. So I want to just make this go away completely. Yeah. Right, Edgar? So I'm going to subtract 6. Because it's a, I want to get y by itself. I just take away 6. Take away 6. Now we're, I have two negatives, so I add them, right? Two negatives. So 29 plus 6. 35. So you guys, go ahead and solve for y. Have you guys solve for y? How many of you guys solve for y? I'm going to work with the people in the classroom while you guys solve for y. So you guys stay there. Boom. I'm going to keep everything, my camera off for now. Actually, should I keep my camera off? Okay. equals before I call on someone so that we can we can uh everyone in the classroom got it just so you know what'd you get what is it what is y equal I guess that's what I need to know uh Leilani Mendoza what is y equal could I have a bit more time I'm still working on sure, it sure no problem I'm glad you're Thank here you. though okay um, let's see. Austin, what'd you get for Y? Still, still doing it. Ah! Devin, what'd you get for Y? Devin, what'd you get for Y? Devin. Y equals five. The five? That's not five, right? That's not five. Good try though, Devin. I just want to make sure you're there. Did you guess? Or did you really get that? 
Well, no, that looks like negative five y, and then you, then then the, that looks like twenty five on the other side. So. Oh, look here, Devin. Look, I think I know your mistake is this minus this. You add them. Twenty nine plus six is going to be thirty five. Negative thirty five. Negative five y equals negative thirty five. Can you see that, Devin? Oh, so y equals six. Well, now, now I got to divide by negative five. And actually, negative 35 divided by five is positive seven. Does that make sense, Devin, or no? Devin? Yeah. All right, cool. So guess what? We, have, we were done. We got our system of equations. We have six, seven. What's my system of equations? I have my x-axis. I have my x coordinate, I have my y coordinate, 6, 7, and that's my answer. Now remember, it might look something like this. I'm just draw a crude picture. So you're going to have like a line here, and you'll have a line here. Oh, my green doesn't work. And at that point, over 6, up 7 would be my point of intersection. All right? Uh, did you see how ter what a terrible shot that was? So right here would be six comma seven. So we go over six, like if, if this is the line, you go over six, up seven, and that'd be my point of intersection, something like that. You know, that's all. That's all it is. <sighs> Should we do another one? Uh, so to move to go up to seventeen, we just have two more to do. I feel like we should do more for practice, but it's a minimum day, so we get out of here soon. Let's do a poll. Okay, so a lot of you, so some one of you understood it pretty well. Let's see. Let's do another one. You're doing systems? Yeah, it's hard, man. Which part are you doing? Graphing, substitution, elimination? Substitution. It's hard. That one's my least favorite. It is? Yeah. I like graphing. That's why. Yeah? Yeah. Because I like the visual, you know. I think I, like I, I would see. agree with you. It's my least favorite too. Elimination is kind of fun. As long yeah. as everything as long as everything works out. Gra I really as like long graphing. as everything is lined up and everything's good. Oh yeah. Students normally like elimination. Mm -hmm. Have you learned it yet? Have I learned elimination? Yeah, like the class. I'm gonna we we're doing that next week. Ooh. Yeah, we did graphing yesterday. Graphings? I like graphing. Not yesterday. We did it Monday. Because you know Tuesday. what? Desmos. Yeah. I don't know about that. Okay, I know that they can. We haven't really talked about the, the D word. <gasps> this is not how class. Huh? Not that D. Shoot, that was recorded. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Let's do 15. Okay, we got 15. So, so remember, you just got to get either x equals or, or y equals and then plug one into the other and then you can solve. And then you have to solve the other equation. What do you think of that? Maybe. You like that still? Like that? Okay. All right, let's do 15. This one was kind of easier because we already had this, right? We already had that. Oh, um, number fifteen. Five x plus two y equals nine. Five x plus two y equals nine. Then I'll do a red one. Black. And then uh, x plus y equals negative 3. x plus y equals negative 3. Okay. Let's all look at it, shall we? Can you see me? Hey, can you guys see that? 
Let me ask you, I'll tell you who I have absent here. Is any of these people here? Crystal, I am put the call. Rosa Balderas, Sherlyn Coronado, David Guzman, Alberto Juarez, Ernas, Jose Mina, Leitali, Tuatama, Andy Tumamate, or Quinlan Wilson. Are any of those people here? I'm all right. You guys are all absent. Okay. No, I'm People are um, typing in the chat, and then someone else is here. What do I have to say? Let's see who's in the chat. I need you to talk. Mr. Ro Rosa, does yours work? I know you left. You can talk, though. Can't you, Rosa? You're not broken, are you? I'm talking right now. Oh, was that you before? You're talking. Yeah. Awesome. And then Quinlan. I remember you left, Rosa, but now I got you here because I forgot. Quinlan, can you talk? Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to tell me you're here. I don't look at the chat the whole time. When I look at my role, I'm looking at my role. So now here's I'm absent. Chris, I am put the call. Sherlyn Coronado, David Guzman, Alberto Juarez, Arenas, Jose Mina, Leitali, Tuatama, Andy Tuma Mate. Are any of those people here? Speak up. Don't chat. Speak up. Say, say I'm here, Sensei. And I love math. All right. Those are the people I have absent. Okay. All right. Okay, Edgar and Olivia. You don't have to get X by itself or Y by itself. Which one of those would be easiest to get X by itself or Y by itself, do you think? The, the, the blue or the black? Be easier to get X by itself or Y by itself. What do you think, Olivia? Yeah. Well, yeah. Edgar, which one do you think? Uh, uh, X plus Y. Yeah, because all I have to do is just bring one of those over there and X is by itself. Or I bring this over here and Y's by itself, right? This one I have to get, I have to bring this over and then I divide by two, right? To make it easier, right? So, hey, everyone, this is, this one would be easier to get X by itself or Y by itself. We got to do that, then we just plug it in. Okay. So, what do you guys want to do? Want to set it equal to X or equal to Y? What do you think, Edgar? It doesn't matter. There's no wrong answer. X. Set it equal to X. So I gotta get rid of this Y by doing what? By uh, by getting rid of the Y. Yeah, by how would I do? By one. Uh, what's that? By dividing by one. Uh, not really. Hang on, hold that thought. Hold that thought. What do you think, Olivia? I think it's easier than what you think. When I show it to you, you might go, "Oh, I think." What do you think, Olivia? Subtract what? Well, there's no one. It's, it's a plus y. So subtract y. Is that what you maybe meant? Did you mean subtract y? Yeah. Yeah, subtract y. Because that's going to get rid of it. I have a y. I take away a y, then no, there's no more y. Just think of that. Even though it's not a number. Okay, so then I subtract. Okay, so what we're doing here is we decided to get use this equation to get x by itself. And we're saying, hey, to get x by itself, let's take away this y. If I have a plus y, let's take away y. Take away y. Then you got to take away y over here to keep it balanced. And so, write down what your final equation would be. Write it, what it would, what it be. I'll write down what your final equation would be. Alberto, are you there? I've been marking you absent because you're never calling. You're not. It's like you're not answering me. Am I lagging? I'm here. Alberto, you got to keep answering me. I marked you absent, dude. Okay. Alberto, can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Where do you go? Nowhere. I was just here. This whole time. Do you even see what I'm doing? Yeah, but it's just like you're lagging. Like it's slow. You're moving slow. Like you're you're like up in the board. Drawing. Can you even hear me though? Yeah. How can you learn? 
I don't know. <laughs> You're not really learning anything, are you? I am a little bit, but when it's not like lagging. If I'm lagging, you gotta come to school. What happened? You gotta come to school. If my parents let me. What? If my parents let me. Uh, I get it. I understand. Okay, what is this equal to? X equals what? Let's go with Antonio. Oh, these don't subtract. You can't combine. You combine these. You can't combine these. You gotta keep them separate. So I'll, I'll show you what the answer is. But try, try it again. Try it again. You saw the whole thing? Okay, so you want to somehow, so these go away. You want to somehow put the y and the 3, it's a negative y, on the same side. So just see if this makes sense. Antonio, what'd you get? I got x equals negative y minus 3. Yes, that's right. Did you already say Does that make sense? What do you say? He said x equals, so look, right? Everyone look, I have, I have this minus y. Now on this side, I have the minus y, and I have a minus 3. I can't combine them because they're different. They just, I think it's easier than what it seems, you know what I mean? You just kind of just throw it over there. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I know this isn't relevant, but um, Crystal A had said that she's trying to log in to the Google Meet, but it's not letting her, so she's retrying, but she will be in soon. Okay, I don't see her trying to come in, but okay, thanks for letting me know, Abigail. You guys, I really appreciate you guys helping me out, because it makes it easier for me to teach when you tell me things like that that are going on. Especially when someone's here and they're not here. And I don't see. There's Crystal. Everyone say hi to Crystal. Yay. Hi, Crystal. I got to take roll again. I marked you absent. Okay, so now. Okay. Edgar and Olivia. See, it's x equals, right? So wherever there's an x, I plug this in. All right? Everyone understand that? So I'm going to write this equation. I have an x right here, right? I have an x right there. So let's write it like this. Five. Instead of x, we put a blank plus 2y equals 9. So go ahead and put in there, and we'll put in there what should go in there. And then we're set to solve it. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to check my roll again. See who's here. I have Crystal, I am with the call, Sherlyn Coronado, David Guzman, Jose Mina, Leitali Tuatama, and Andy Tuma Mate, all absent. Are any of those people here? I got Crystal. She's Crystal, are you are are you are you chatting me? Crystal usually doesn't. She needs to get a new laptop too. Crystal, let's see. Crystal is here. Here, all right. Yes, got you, Crystal. Okay, yes. You're saying yes. You need to get a new Chromebook. That's what we all say. Okay, so what did you put in there? What did you put in there? Negative y minus three, yes. And then can you solve it? You multiply everything by five. And then try to try to solve it once you get it. Maybe you probably just went ahead and started solving it, right? Oh, it was a post No, I didn't say I didn't say it was this before. Okay, five times negative y would be negative five y. And then five times negative three. You gotta multiply it, negative fifteen. You multiply it. Okay. So, what goes in here is negative y minus 3, right? Did you get that, Olivia? So now, so did you all get that in there like that? Make sure you get it in there like that. And this is 5 times negative y. I'm multiplying, right? So we're going to multiply 5 times everything in here. What would 5 times negative y be? What would it be? Five, but don't forget the negative, so it'll be negative 5y, right? It's important that we get that negative in there. And then 5 times negative 3, Edgar, did you figure out what it was? 15, uh, negative 15 
minus 15, and then we put our plus 2y. Right, everything else is the same. That's the same, that's the same, and that's the same. Now, because these are on the same side of the equal sign, I can combine these together, right? The negative 5y and the 2y. What would that be? Negative 5y plus 2y. Negative 3y. Yeah. So this is now negative 5y plus 2y is negative 3y. And then minus this stays. So those go away. This minus 15 stays here. You just write everything the same. And now we can solve for y. I bet you could do that right in there. Solve for y. You guys solve for y. Solve for y. See what you get. Solve it. I'm going to call on one of you. Octavio, what'd you get for Y? I got eight. I think it's negative eight. Yeah, it's negative eight. Is it positive or negative? What do you think, Octavio? I got positive eight. Well, let's see. Are you with me? I'm adding 15. Oh, I see the mistake now. I just got it just right now. What was it? What was your mistake? <laughs> I realized I was dividing by a po dividing a negative and a positive, so I forgot to put the negative sign. Very good. So nine plus fifteen is twenty-four. Divide by negative three. Twenty-four divided by negative three. My answer is gonna be negative. I got negative eight. Raise your hand if you got negative eight. I got negative eight. Put your hand up in front of the thing. Ooh, not many. I see like three. Two hands. You know, I blame myself. I blame, I don't blame you, I blame the teacher. You guys need a real teacher like Miss Howells or Miss Thomas or Miss Hajduko. Those are real teachers. You guys have a fake teacher. Well, now I have to solve for the X. So we take this Y and let's plug it into one of the, this one would be an easier one. Let's plug it in this. X plus Y equals negative 8. So now, I, I just took this equation and wrote it here. And for Y, let's plug in negative 8 and solve for X. X instead of Y minus 8 equals negative 8. Let's solve for X. And that's your system of equations. Y equal, or what does X equal? 
something, right? Yeah. So what should we set it equal to here? What would be the easiest letter to set it equal to? X or Y? Y. y. Right? See how it kind of Y's? Doesn't have the 5 in front of it, Olivia? So what do we do? They subtracted 5X 
and then they divided by, so if this is negative, then this becomes a positive, so they switch the signs, divide everything by negative. That looks good. And then try to find the mistake. So then, oh, look what they did. See how they took this equation? And they plugged it in this equation, which is the same equation. This equation is this equation. They want to plug this into, see that? What do they want to plug it into? The other equation. That's their mistake. Is that, is that confusing, Edgar? Or did I lose you for a second? I'm reading my hair, so I'm getting off a lot. It's okay. Does that make sense, Olivia? Or did I lose you? Okay. I'll show you. I'll show you after the class. Okay, guys. That's it. Find the error analysis. Make sure to you check your understanding. Uh, Five point two. Check your understanding. Are there any questions? Anyone? Any questions? Is Andy Tuma mate there? Andy Tuma mate? I don't think he's there. All right. If you don't have any questions, I will see you tomorrow. 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 I don't. Do we have a quiz tomorrow? Actually, do I have a quiz tomorrow? Let's make sure I don't have a quiz. I think we're just. Tomorrow. Oh, we got. Oh, we got a quiz tomorrow. 5.1, 5.2 quiz, okay? So we'll be ready for your quiz tomorrow. This is an easy quiz. We'll give you two chances to take it. And I will guys see you tomorrow. You guys, you guys are awesome. Bye, Edith. Bye, Angelina. Bye, Rosie. Bye, Antonio. Bye, Octavio. Bye, Crystal. All right. Let me show you that. So... Basically, remember what we're doing. Remember, we solve for we we take these, we solve for x, and then I plug this into the other equation, right? What they did is they solve for x, right here, and they plugged it back into the same equation. That's what they did on the error analysis. Do you want me to show you on the board? Okay. Let's take a look. Mr. Sanchez? Yeah. I did 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3 lesson. I was wondering if you can read it. Hang on, I'm at my, uh, at my other desk. Okay. Give me a second. I want to show uh, something to Olivia. Hang on a second, whoever, who is it? Who was asking about the 2.1? Angelina. You, did you just turn it in? Yeah. Okay. It should show up on my canvas, and I'll grade it when I have a chance to do it. Is that what you want okay. to make sure I got it? Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
I'll look at it today, and if, if, if it's not corrected tomorrow, remind me tomorrow. Is that cool? Yeah, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, Olivia. So you see we have two equations here? And what they decided was to take this equation, and they set it equal to y. Remember we need to do that? And then what are we supposed to do after that? Plug it into this. So I should take this 9 minus 3x and plug it in there, right? But what they did is they plugged in the same one. They plugged in. They, see. Wait, did they do that? Well, maybe they didn't. What did they do? Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, no, that's 18. So then they took this one and they solved for y, right? And they're supposed to plug this y into this. But what they did is they plugged it into this one, which is the same equation. If you do that, you won't get the same. you got to plug it into that equation. That was their error now. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Crystal and Natalia, who wants to go first? Crystal can go first. Okay. Crystal, what's up? Crystal, are you there? Oh, she left. Okay. What's up, Italia? Um, yeah, let me stop recording here for a second. Which one's the... Okay. All right, what's up? 